Hello everybody, my name is Necroxis, and 7.3.5 just came out, and with it came two cinematics that no one knew was coming. So, Taron Gregory, you successfully kept the secret. From what I understand, um, these are being called the Legion Epilogue Cinematics. There's one for the Horde and one for the Alliance. Um, just found out about them about ten minutes ago, so I'm going to give you my reaction to them. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to start with the Horde one, because of course we have to end with the Alliance. I mean, right? Um, so, yeah. And I believe these are segueing to the Silithus experience from the little I've seen, um, or I've heard people talk about. So, we'll just see what it says. What happens? All right, we're going to watch the Horde one in three, two, one. War Chief, if I may offer a few words. I love Bane's new model. And surfing. It is with both pain and pride that we gather here today. Pain for many brave heroes of the Horde fell against a terrible and foe. And our Wharf Chief died. And pride doing nothing. for against all odds. We have vanquished the Legion. We bled. Now we heal. We mourned. Now we celebrate for the Horde. Oh, is that Zentabra? The troll? Oh, this bitch. War Chief! A moment of your time. Everybody hates goblins. No doubt Gallywix wants to push his latest money grubbing scheme. Rats scurry about their business. And get eaten. If they're not careful. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird comment, Bane. Oh, uh, it's gotta be about Ashray, right? Is that Hamul? Hmm. What is the rat up to? He does keep sending more goblins to Silithus. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing good has ever come out of Silithus. Sarfang would know. Welcome to Jurassic Park. This will change everything. <laughs> I told you! And the Alliance knows nothing of this? Don't worry, War Chief. I got people on it. as always because they're smart and I know that if there's ever Horde doing something frantically they're probably going to use whatever they find to turn around and stab the Alliance in the back because that tends to be what they do um, I believe Azurite will be the fourth time to charm they're going to try to do it uh, we had started out with the focusing iris with the uh, mana bomb that's right there more then we had the divine bell um, and all the shenanigans with that um, the Horde was under the complete misconception, and I know people don't want to acknowledge this, but if you play, if you go to the Alliance base there and you talk to those NPCs, you'll know that they were not planning to attack the Alliance, but the Horde believes they did, so they started the aggression in Ashran over the yet unexplained artifact that was there, whatever, and now we have Azurite. I guess we could also say five um, a year. <laughs> I guess she also kind of counts, but... Horde's always up to no good when they're doing it, so now we're going to... I, I did notice one thing when I was watching that. Uh, Lady Liadrin's model, I think she she should be get a, get a custom model, because she's gotten really important lately, which is cool, because I like her a lot. But she really stands out now that Bane and Sarfang and Gallywix, but he was a little bit ago, have gotten their own models. So she deserves one. Her time is now. Let's uh, update it, give her some new armor. I don't really... I guess you could say it's iconic to her character, but it's player gear, so I don't know. I kind of want to... I would like to see her in more holy paladin-looking armor. But, uh... Okay. So, now it's time for the Alliance epilogue. Uh, the Legion epilogue Alliance cinematic. So we're going to start that in three, two, one. And we are mourning Varian again. Like many of you. <laughs> or honoring I know firsthand the pain of loss. 
My father, King Varian Rin, gave his life to save his people. He knew that no one, not even a king, is more important than the Alliance. And because he and so many others had the courage to make that sacrifice, we did the impossible. <laughs> Look again. Look like a proud dad. We defeated the Burning Legion. <laughs> Spymaster Shaw. Back so soon? But by living our lives, our joy. I need to speak with him. These are the gifts. Ooh, those green eyes are cool. Now. And we must cherish <sighs> and celebrate them. For the Alliance! Anduin's getting better at speeches! See the night elves in there? <laughs> We've observed an unusually large cluster of goblins in Silithus. And the numbers are increasing. Goblins aren't the most charming people. <laughs> but they do things for a reason. Everybody hates and goblins. And those reasons usually involve money. So, the Horde has found something valuable then. They have indeed. This. So confirm, the Horde gets to it first. So now we know that for sure. What? What is this? We don't know. It would seem the Horde does. And we must find out more. Agreed. We have eyes on it. Ooh. Very well done by Taryn Gregory there. The small facial animations now making me question, is Azurite a corruptive element because that's not something that we'd known before they didn't talk about that at blizzcon but the second that he was holding it that, that andrew was out of holding it it almost sounded like they had they had kind of like a like a magical infusing sound effect and then you saw like his jaw open up a little bit and his hand was moving a little bit like shaking is azurite corruptive because I, that would make things very interesting it, maybe it kind of even suggests that it's the lifeblood of Azeroth, and if it's corruptive, then maybe Azeroth is already, like, too far gone. Who knows? Um, it, it has been a po pretty popular theory that inevitably we're going to have to kill our own planet's world soul um, because it's corrupted, or cleanse it, or whatever. But, very interesting. I'll have to see how it plays out from there, because I did not expect that. And, that was that was cool. That was an unexpected little twist there, but... At least now we know for sure that the Horde discovers it first, they begin mass mining it, and then the Alliance finds out about it, and uh, attacks, as you're going to see in the cinematic, or the, the questing experience, um, that they will, that they go there to see what the Horde's doing, and essentially see them mass mining this, this new thing, and because, again, one, two, three, four, fifth time's a charm, they start attacking them, which, uh, apparently drives all the Horde fans crazy that the Alliance takes the appropriate response to the Horde trying to gulp up and steal a bunch of, uh, bunch of very powerful uh, new resources. So, either way, uh, that, was well, that was really, really well done on both sides. I liked it a lot. Um, I don't really have much more to say. I'm more kind of just thinking what's going to happen next. So what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, but until then, stay awesome. And yeah, farewell.